I'd like to bring this meeting to order. The Village of Villa Park Board of Trustees Committee of the whole meeting, November 13th, 2023. Clerk Konecki, please call the roll. Trustee Alfano. <clears throat> Trustee Cordova. Here. Trustee Corkery. Here. Trustee Kozar. Trustee Kumar. Trustee Patrick. Here. President Cazone. Here. And we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under, under God, God, indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for all. Okay, uh, tonight we are going to have a discussion on our various um, commissions in the village. Turn over to Andrew Harline. All right, um, so this evening we sent out a, a brief packet about um, some items that we could discuss about the um, um, the boards and commissions and how we can uh, better support them as staff and how we can get more value out of the uh, work that they do for the community. Um, in the uh, in the packet, there is a, um, a memo and it describes some uh, topics that we could uh, discuss. We also have been asked to, there have been a, a couple of um, uh, trustees who aren't going to make it tonight who both would like to at least continue this uh, discussion to the next meeting. Um, and uh, so the, um, um, the, the uh, rest of the memo didn't, isn't in there. Um, so uh, the, um, uh, let me see if I can find the, uh, information I wrote up about it. But uh, a couple of things that came or that were during discussions with, uh, particularly with Trustee Patrick and Trustee Kumar, um, were uh, they, some, that uh, there might be support, support offered in the, in the uh, form of a um, short, small packet of information about uh, the things that uh, commissioners could need could uh, would need to perform their duties properly and then um, there's also been a interest on several different people uh, both on commissions and here on the board of trustees to have the different commissions review their uh, purpose and see if that is you know if there are things that they would like to see changed to as the uh, video production commission has done um, to better address current needs of the village so <clears throat> that's basically I didn't want to go into a huge long presentation I think the desire was to have a discussion but again there are two uh, commissioners that are not going to be able to make the meeting tonight and so um, they had asked to at least carry discussion over if there's anyone from the public of course I'm sure you want to get comment on that so that's basically it um, okay. there is there is in the packet a, up, a the current form that is um, that is available for uh, applications to the board. Um, the uh, um, there's also a updated committee of the whole chart that so shows how many uh, the, basically the enabling part of the code, the number of commission seats currently open, and some other information about the uh, various commissions, um, and then the. Um, uh, one of the, a couple of the other items that were brought up now that I've got this from you is that the um, there's there's because we have several openings there's been some interest in increasing the amount of advertising and solicitation that is done through our website for the to fill open positions and also possibly an annual reception to thank commissioners it has been it was actually budgeted in 2023 and we have uh, tentative plans to uh, move forward with such an event in uh, the late winter early spring of 2024 so um and that's and then the, another com idea that came up which i think is more a role of the commissions themselves with some help from the staff is uh, a campaign to educate citizen on citizens on the mission of the commissions staff of course now sits uh, there's a, a staff liaison on each one of the commissions which can help with that so okay any uh, anyone any trustees want to comment on anything? 
Trustee Patrick. Sure, I will. Thank you. Um, so back in July, um, in, uh, in the summer, there had been a lot of discussion uh, regarding uh, the roles and responsibilities of all the different commissions and, and what have you. So in July, I wrote an email to the board just um, elaborating on a, little, a few of the ideas uh, that I had so that way we could, um, I believe, better utilize our commissions. Um, the Open Meetings Act prohibits um, elected officials, more than two of us, from having discussions on things like this. And so with that um, being said, um, one of the better things that I thought we could do is bring it to an actual meeting where we could have open discussion. We could have this dialect and have this communication with everybody on the board. Um, so I appreciate um, the village allowing us to continue this uh, conversation uh, at uh, an another time uh, so that way all board members are present and can give uh, uh, their thoughts and concerns. But more or less, um, I saw an opportunity for us to have this dialect and have these conversations to make sure that we are utilizing our commissions uh, effectively and properly. And uh, not only that, but our commissions and our commission members are a valuable resource to the village. Um, they, uh, they work for free. They are doing this on their own free will and accord um, and on their own time, uh, which is valuable and we appreciate that. And with that being said, I also thought in one of my ideas that we should bring back a recognition program and a, uh, an opportunity so that way we could um, show our appreciation for all of our different commissions and um, the, the efforts that they put into this. Um, more or less, um, what I would really like to see discussion on are talking uh, more about our written policies and procedures um, and the benefit of being able to have those in place and how those could kind of streamline processes and uh, reduce uh, staff st uh, staff's time spent on uh, tracking requests and, and what have you. Um, but I, I think it's important that um, we take a, a closer look at our commissions and uh, make sure that everybody is on the same page and that we are um, showing our appreciation for our commissions. Um, Kumar. Yeah, um, and I am going to piggyback off of what Kevin said on many things. I would like to open up a very clear cut process by which commissions can um, kind of get feedback to us as the board. Uh, there are certain commissions that have that set in place. They're working beautifully. They're set in place by the state of Illinois, so it's clear. I would like all the other commissions to have something to go back to in order to have a clear-cut process um, in getting back information. I would also like in this handbook kind of a guide to what it is to be on a particular commission, having been a liaison in um, the Economic Development um, Commission. It just helps to have a guide, I think, for anything, um, just in order to do some more PR, to get more members into our commissions, to have make sure that we make quorum in many of our commission. They're a very valuable resource. What exactly can they give us as information? We as the board are dependent on the people of Villa Park and those commissions to give us proper information and give us a feeling of what exactly Villa Park wants to say to us in terms of making decisions. And so I think they're a valuable resource and there's a lot more that we can um, actually get out. I am happy to see progress in many of our commissions in that way. They are they have taken a step up in, um, in, in many ways doing um, they're taking up different, different activities. They are taking up different, different um, directions. I know in EDC, they're meeting with different businesses, which is very helpful, I'm sure, to get that information collected somewhere to see what is important in terms of either parking or other aspects of um, 
retail um so i you know would like just kind of the commissions to come up with a this is what we want to do list um that could be added to the handbook let um this is what we do this is what we want to do this is where we want to go and please do not do this can come from the staff in some aspect if it's something that's going against um uh illegal illegality you know so i would definitely like some kind of written statement as to that accord it also gives people and i'm really glad to see that there is a plan for some reach out and a community um event to support and um basically value our commissioners who put in hours and hours of time and effort um with really no personal gain to be had from that that i i absolutely value um every commissioner that's out there we really uh depend upon you for very valuable clear-cut information many of you have unbelievable skills in certain ways and you are willing to part it for the better and the whole of villa park so thank you for that and um that's you know kind of why we had this meeting if there's anything else that you know others on other commissions or our liaisons want to say i thought this would be a good venue to bring that up okay thank you okay. trust better last comment i promise um uh, the village manager had also uh, spoken earlier saying that we have um, vacancies on these commissions as well and I, I know firsthand that finding good volunteers is a very is a hard challenge uh, for anybody and I completely understand that and I think that's why we have a need for a public awareness and engagement uh, campaign with this as well if you look at other municipalities like Elmhurst uh, for example uh, the, the list um, what commissions they have what vacancies there are what those commissions entail and in in doing so um, or kind of emulating that um, we can have a a broader reach to our residents that might have specific expertise or knowledge in some of these areas that they're willing to share but they just don't know how to get involved and I think by having this public engagement uh, campaign or this public awareness campaign it allows people to understand what our commissioners do what our commissions do what the purposes are and um, it also allows um, a residents to take agency and become a stakeholder in our local government and doing and, and help making uh, some of the decisions or giving us the information to help us make better decisions so that is another area that I would really like to see um, a plan come forth uh, not just necessarily talking about a plan but actually putting a plan together on how we are going to roll this out how are we going to implement it and how are we going to see results what kind of results do we want to see um, I think these are all good talking points that uh, we definitely could have moving forward thank you okay. <clears throat> anyone else I would also like to thank all all the commission commissioners that we have um, it's, a lot of times it's a thankless job but it is important uh, jobs that they do helps us out at the board level helps residents out to get some uh, feedback from them too uh, I know the manager and I have talked about getting back into I know years ago we did have a uh, like appreciation a little dinner for the commissioners and I think you know we have talked about doing that and I'd like to get back into that just a little appreciation for all the hard work that they do but they uh, they all do a good job for us let's go to I can give you my experience with commissions um I've I've lived here in Ville Park I think like 13 or 14 years and of those 13 14 years not including this year um I spent eight years on the Parks and Rec Commission have a whole laundry list of things that we've been able to do in the last um in the in those eight or nine years including feasibility study 2015 um master plan we replaced well of last year those six of nine playgrounds uh with planned replacements of the rest of the, of the remaining three in 2020 by 2025 including um <clears throat> our recreation center so if anything i feel as though parks and rec is a testament to the time that we have uh 
Nick, you were on, you were our liaison for a couple of years. Um, we got a lot of stuff done. So again, if there is a, a framework uh, that we could look to as what success of a commission looks like, I feel that one of them is Parks and Rec. Um, we're sitting here talking about Oslad grants and $10 million IDNR grants. Why? Because we put that time in to understand what's out there. Uh, we come back here for the last eight years. I've been up here speaking and yelling at people and asking for you know to listen. And and here we are, you know, doing a groundbreaking a couple months ago for the hard work that we've done in the last eight years, eight nine years. So um, more than anything, that was a volunteer thing that we all did. I spent time with numerous people on on those boards, and I still am very close with a lot of them. So if we can again look at you know, those achievements and use that as a springboard into some of these um, these commissions. We have 16 commissions here in Villa Park. Uh, Elmhurst actually has 13, so we beat them out by a couple more. Uh, we have some vacancies on here, but I know we have people that traffic and safety, uh, you know, fire pension board, you know, video, video production. We have those people in town, so I agree with uh, Trustee uh, Patrick that we do have a little bit of work to do, maybe a little bit more amplification of what these what these are, what they do, the purpose behind them. And then, you know, like I said, we've seen people here that are coming up and speaking about what's going on in their neighborhoods. Uh, those are the people that we can poke. So more than anything, I'm a big proponent of commissions and uh, making sure that we have and utilize those people in the right way. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Trust Kuma. Um, and I completely agree with that statement. Um, Parks and Rec has done uh, quite a good job over the last few years, as is P and Z, as is the Economic Development Board. The purpose of this is kind of just to revet and re-understand their purpose and clarify to everyone to make it easier for commissioners who are coming in to know what they are getting into and what the benefits are and what you know they can do for the community because i think that helps to realize you know and get more com uh, commis commissioners on board and uh, um, a lot of times you don't even know what some of the commissions do um, when you get involved so that makes it a lot harder to involve yourself in something it's getting you know it's like going in head head first um and reach out is great right so parks and rec because they are good at reaching out to other people have been able to pull commissioners and i'm asking all the commissioners to do the same in all the groups because it does help you know when you reach out um to each other and ask that you volunteer hours every hour spent by the volunteer is valuable to us on the board it's extremely important information that we could not get solely by ourselves so uh, i you you know that we need as many commissioners as we get in in the in the and we need a quorum and a staff and every piece of information helps us make better decisions thank you thanks okay just corkery yeah, nothing? nothing to add okay okay um well, like uh, we had said, we'll bring this back up next meeting or okay. next uh, COW meeting. We'll uh, we'll have more discussion on this, and you know, we can discuss a few things before then. Um, I think uh, okay. someone wants to make a statement. I speak, or do you want me to come? We'll finish up up here, and then we'll we'll get public comments. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. Um, anyone else have anything? They wanted to discuss. I know man, the manager had. And did you get any questions or anything? Uh, no, I didn't. Email? No, no, okay. I didn't get any email questions about the any budgets. budget questions or anything like that. Okay. Okay. Now we'll go to public comments. <clears throat> Glad to see you walking too. Yeah. <laughs> um, Donna Noxon. One thing that I think would work is on our website where we have like the fun commission, um, every commission put the liaison who is the trustee on there also. So if they have something that's related to economic development, instead of asking George and Kevin and, and Jack, they can go right to the source because she's going to know more probably than Kevin or because she's at the meetings. So that's one idea I have is to put whoever the liaison 
for that commission, put them as listed under the commissioners so they know who to reach out to instead of going around in a circle. She could reach out to Kevin for something for economic development, but Deepa might know a little bit more because she was there. Oh, okay, good idea. For Skuma. I, I think piggyback on offing, off that also, we have a staff liaison also that should be listed in our commission so that they know, if not me, then the staff. So I think that's a great idea and I think we can just make it bigger. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Any other comments, questions? Kokoneki, okay. anything? Well, I will mention something about the Senior Concerns Commission. Um, I think they probably would like to have more opportunity to do things within. Now, we have a great Parks and Rec. That's one issue that is there that covers many, many questions, answers, and a lot of things. But it would be good if there was more, um, a more like substantial things that uh, the Senior Concerns Commission could go into uh, that they would feel uh, better use of their uh, abilities and time. Okay. That's something to think about. Sure. I think that would be, that's a also a very great idea, Clerk Kornacki, and I think maybe if you could make a list of things possibly that would be ideal, it would be helpful for all of us to put in a book because, I mean, each person knows their commission best and it would be really helpful for us. Thank you. Just Patrick. Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, I believe that this is really good dialect. This is a really good conversation that we're starting to have here. Um, uh, as far as like uh, Clerk Kornecki and the Senior Concerns Commission, um, I, I didn't know that. And I think those are good things for us as a board to know as well. Um, and it, it, I know that we are continuing this conversation on, but I am going to encourage our uh, commission members, our commissions, um, to come to the next meeting when we have these discussions because we want to hear your ideas. Um, this is not, in, at least in my opinion, I hope this is not a one and done conversation. I hope this is a work in progress. That's something that we could continue to work on over time so that way we can effectively and efficiently uh, empower these commissions. Um, so I encourage everybody, um, whether you are on a commission or not, or even if you're interested in a commission, come to this next meeting with your questions with your ideas so that way we could at least take note and start working on on those pro on that progress thank you okay anyone else anyone else from the, the audience okay seeing none we will close our committee the whole meeting and we will start our regular board meeting at seven o'clock we'll see you then thank you